So, recently, Gibson opened up the Gibson uh, pickup shop. Now, that goes along with the other stuff that they've got, the Gibson Garage and the Demo Shop slash Mod Shop, the actual regular, you know, USA line, production line, stuff like that. But what it does is it gives access to Gibson pickups that you could, I think you could buy certain pickups before, but not like all of them. And they were all not all matched and set up. But the idea is that it kind of changes the game when it comes to what you're what kind of sounds you can make and how you can make them. So it brings up the topic of what exactly can you do with certain types of guitars? You know, I mean, if you have the right pickups, we all know that pickups makes up most of the sound of these guitars that cause the, you know, electric guitar versus an acoustic, an acoustic, a lot of it is wood, but on electrics, wood doesn't pay, play nearly as big a factor as the pickups. Better pickups, better sound. Sometimes you want the squealy pickups that are more microphonic. Sometimes, maybe not so much. But the bottom line is, it opens up a topic of exactly what would it be like if you had very, very, very similar, I mean, within just minor detail specs of each other, pickups in two different guitars, would they give you the exact same sound? And that's kind of where we're at today because this is the Les Paul Custom in a beautiful ebony finish and over there is the Les Paul traditional in Chicago blue now the traditional blue guitar is a 2011 model and the custom is a 2020 model but they both have 57 classic pickups now underneath the uh, covers on the other one you'll notice that you know, they do have covers on them, so you're going to get a little bit of a sound difference because of that. But overall, these 57s that are in the Custom are just zebra bobbin 57 Classics. And on the Custom, and this could be because of the fact that it is Custom, both of them measure at 7.8 kilo ohms. So they are exactly matched to each other. And surprisingly, one's not hotter than the other. They're exactly the same. I mean, 7.80. On the traditional, the blue guitar, they are a little bit different. The front neck pickup is a 7.68 versus the bridge pickup being a 7.88. So they are a little different in their variation. So they do have a di slight difference in their actual outputs. So, but they are both within tolerance of what would be production line normalcy for the production of those pickups in both the guitars. Are they exactly identical? No, but they're close enough that you would probably not be able to discern them. And it could also be that the fact that the traditional is almost a decade older. So what we're going to do today is I'm going to, I'm going to hide the guitars. I'm going to play them through the PRS Sanzera 20 and we're going to, do a couple of audios and at the end make it you know leave a comment and take a guess which one's which but at the end I'll say 
which ones were played and which ones. Also, these two guitars are within ounces of each other. I want to say that they're both three ounces or three and a half ounces away from being the same. And their parts are extremely similar considering what the difference is between them. Also, we've taken these two guitars apart on the back and looked at the 2020 Custom compared to the 2011 Traditional. And the Traditional had pots that were basically identical to the 2007 Custom that we have, but the wiring on it looked very similar. Now, the wiring on the newer one does have a little bit of uh, some upgrades, but overall, output, and, and that could also be why there's a difference in 7.68 and 7.88 versus 7.8 on both. It's because they've upgraded the wiring. They've upgraded the way they do the wiring. There could be an upgrade in the you know, solder that they use. No real telling. But the bottom line is the pickup outputs are close enough that taking into account those covers on the traditional they should be pretty close. I mean, they're they're close enough to be called within spec. So, without further ado, I'm going to hide the guitars, and let's see if anybody can tell which one is which. So, rub a dub dub. Here we go. All right, clean tones first. Remember, could be in any order here. Now it's time for guitar number two. Now, starting off in the middle position, just like on the other one, difference is new guitar.
sneaky suspicion this one's a little out of tune. Give me just a moment. Yep, all three treble strings out of tune. Still on the bridge. Now, let's swap over to guitar one again. All right, now a little game. So, we'll go through back to guitar one. Now a few more licks with some crunch because that, or some gain because the guitar really had gotten out of tune. Let's give it a fair chance. <laughs> Yeah. 
So, which do you think was which? Do you hear anything in particular? In the room, it's very different. Now, that said, in the room, I know there's two different guitars. But is there enough difference in the tonal difference between two different guitars to make up the difference in price? Because the traditional will run you anywhere from 1500 to $2,000 on the used market right now. And the custom will run you anywhere from three to $5,000. So you're looking at what easily could be twice as much money for that same guitar. And putting 57 Classics in an Epiphone Les Paul and then putting the upgraded pieces to make it match. I mean, some of the some of the Epiphone guitars already come with so many of the pickups and everything that are there that we've got, and, and there's plenty of tone comparisons of those to show that those guitars sound a lot like their significantly more expensive brethren. Or I guess they'd be cousins because Epiphone and Gibson are related, but they're not the same company. You know, so not made in the same factory, to be sure. But the bottom line is the first guitar was the custom, and the second guitar was the traditional. So, the I think, and I've heard people tell, say this before, and I never really realized it until I was doing this sound demonstration, that the pickup covers actually make a difference in tone. And I bet you if we took those covers off, those 57 classics, these two would sound basically the same. Now, that said, I think the custom has a better sound. I think it has a different tone overall. Could be the fact that it's got Grovers versus Clusens on the tuning machines. It could be the, I mean, I checked the height on these two as well. And the neck pickup on the traditional is ever so slightly further away, but the bridge positions are identical. So I don't understand. Maybe that's just the way that Gibson likes them is to have them set up that way, but their pickups are only slightly different too. So that one has a slightly less aggressive output on the neck pickup of the traditional, whereas it has a, it's a little bit further away. So that could make a different difference on the neck, but on the bridge, they are identical. Like both sides of it is within a fraction of a millimeter if there's any difference at all. So like I say, is the idea of getting 57 classics or since these guitars generally come with 498, four, uh, 490 and 498Ts, or 496, 498, something like that. Bottom line is, you can get the pickups from a custom and put it in the body of an Epiphone or a traditional and wind up with a very similar setup. Because both of these have bone nuts and the saddles are, you know, the bridges and saddles are just minutely different. Like I say, I would, uh, I would say that that's a strong case for picking up some Gibson USA pickups and slapping them in an Epiphone just to save yourself the trouble of worrying about a high-end guitar. I mean, yeah, you might want to record or do something else with the custom, but if I was gigging, I'd go get me one of those 59, you know, Epiphone 59 reissues for a thousand dollars delivered to your house and just, you know, use Gibson USA pickups, but I think those actually have Gibson USA pickups in them anyway.
But bottom line is, that's a, uh, that was fun, like I say. So if you guessed the custom was first, you were right. Till next time.